Hi, I'm Mark with the North Shore Commercial Door.com. Today we're going to do a product introduction. And the uh, product today is a Keystone Head Off uh, one button transmitter. And there's three different versions of this transmitter. And, and okay, when you get them, they're going to come in a nice little white box like this. I'll open one up. And we'll take it out of the box and I'll show it to you. There's, there's the transmitter what we call a full-size transmitter and it's designed to have a spring steel clip slid into the back of it so that you can clip that to the visor of your car. There's a little trap door on the bottom that comes off and you'll see in there the, the battery. The battery comes with it so you don't have to go out and buy anything. And you'll see in there then there's dip switches. So what you're going to have to do when you get this product is you're going to have to open up your old remote control or go to the radio receiver on the door and open it up and you will see a dip switches. All you have to do is set the dip switches in the new one to match the old one and it should go to work for you. The only difference between the 340, 60, and 90 is how they were tuned when they were being built. And the only physical difference is the color around the push button. They vary so that as they're being produced and shipped and what have you, whoever touches them knows the difference instantly between the 340, 60, and 90. Now back in the good old days, and I can talk about the good old days because I've been doing this for 40 years, you could take a 340 and retune it to a 360 and vice versa or you take a 360 and bump them up to 390. You can't do that anymore. The tuning slug that's in here is permanently sealed so you can't tamper with it. So um, you first have to determine whether you've got a 340, 60, or 90 frequency transmitter. And if the transmitter is so badly worn that you can't find it, you can get up to the operator and or the radio control box and the last three digits of the FCC ID number is going to end in 340, 60, or 90. So if, if you see that on there, you'll be able to identify it. The other thing you can do is uh, give us a call. This, this product goes back, it's here when I got here, so 40 plus years, so millions of these out there, and they're still in use today. They come with directions. First thing you should always do when you get a product is sit down and read the directions. And uh, should give you years of trouble-free service. So we got them. Come and get them. If you got any questions, give me a call. We'll we'll walk you through it. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video from NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.